Giving while living. I will pass through this life but once and anything that I can do or any kindness that I can show to my fellow men let me not defer or neglect it for I shall not pass this way again. A glimpse into just a slice of our everyday life finds us in a closely packed compartment of being with ourselves, our children, our families. Our days are cramped up with our own needs, ambitions. There is always no time nor do we have inclination to look beyond selfish restraints. There is so much of hunger, wretchedness, pain, pathos, penury, loneliness in face of in so science and we are not beset by conscious we have come to the needs of others we are facing a moral collapse and we treat everyone in a very harsh way if we could only come down from our high horse of arrogance and self-centeredness and meet people on the ground level and we be of use to them then we could make a difference As Shakespeare says, the best portion of a man's life is in the little, nameless, unremembered acts of kindness and love. On the contrary, our tank is filled with bragging, boasting on our egocentric lives. The world is bent on having rather than giving. Human beings have a propensity to seek to rise above each other in terms of power, material, amassing, fatu, Rears uh, trying to secure unknown future and so on. End up be getting caught up in the maze of their own problems and thus shutting themselves to the wonderful things and people in life. Today, people neither give nor receive friendship. They build walls, not bridges. They are materially wealthy but spiritually poor. The peace these folk gain is only shallow. The happiness they get is only outer semblance. Joy is elusive because it very exercises that it produces, it runs counter to what our culture teaches about joy. Our culture says live for yourself, forget the other. But joy comes when we get on the focus of ourselves and concentrate on helping others. The happiest people are too busy serving others to ask themselves even if they are happy. In other words, happiness comes from giving happiness. The Christian way of life means seeing in every other person, be they rich, poor, strong, weak, good or bad, someone that we can serve. That is what Christ himself taught us by his life. For the true measure of a man is not number of servants he has, but the number of people he serves. Mother Teresa was an icon of love and service and she stored up riches in eternity by giving all she had while she lived and that was love never making a parade of her virtues. She selflessly loved and served all the needy she came in contact with. She bore the witness to her famous quote, Give till it hurts. Today she leaves behind a legacy of love. When charity becomes a yardstick that rules our life, that will become less egocentric and more giving and we will be able to take time out, talk to the other, lend a lonely ear, give the helping hand to the needy, we will be able to give up hoarding and not merely give as a per functionatory act, but in doing so, we will be able to complement and be a magic with our smile and the profound joy that giving brings. After all, the fragrance always lingers in the hand that gives away. So when we live our lives in charity people will forget what you said but they will never forget how you made them feel and how comforting it was at the end of your journey to know that even one life could breathe easy because you have lived a madman and the more he gave the more he had this was the man who strove to break all barriers of race religion color unifying people through music He gave the world not only music and entertainment, but also he was a humanitarian. He always was moved by the people, poverty-stricken children around the world and contributed in millions. And he gave while he lived because of his magnanimity. Millions of fans across the globe were mourning when he died. For what you send forth into the lives of others comes back to you. We are all charitable. Many of us loathe giving in any form while living and self as conscious by contributing to charity in our own will. It will not hurt to give then, 
but the true giving is giving while we live we are all charitable and the following story will drive home the the important message a rich man wangs asked a friend why am i criticized for being miserly everyone knows that i will live my entire charity when i die the friend then told him about the story of the pig and the cow the pig gives only when he is dead but the cow gives when she lives our time on earth is just a blink of an eye but the consequence of it will last forever so let us give and live let us charm the world by love and sharing let us pour forth all the color and charm and happiness we have around us let us brighten our darkened lives soften the rude and let us make sunshine of peace in stormy places let us spread our fragrance to all we meet as we give while we live and in doing so we will indeed live intensely